I you have that. your pair of pants. Okay. And then you have your Do you do the taping or is that our or either We one? almost always yeah. do the taping. Depends on really? Mm -hmm. You just want to leave so you can see this. So others. you're going to put it, put the uh, crease in the pant or the pant legs as close to the tube. Crotch. The crotch of the leg like, <laughs> pants. There you go. That's what I was looking for. And then wrap it. Leaving kind of like a tail there in case you need to retape it. And you would obviously benzo in or skin prep first before doing that. And then your other pair of pants. Have your pants um, kind of start the backing started taken off because that can sometimes take time and stuck to this before you if you know or are anticipating um and then same thing but opposite direction going the other way and you just leave the mark on the so you can see it afterwards honestly with our kids you can't see it um you just and then meanwhile, while you're taping it, somebody would be yep. holding the tube to the roof of the mouth the entire time. But that tube's not going anywhere. Works pretty well. Really and I can't remember if it was you or someone else that said the way Dr. Leonard got trained is his attending and walk around and then try and pick the kid up by the ET yeah. tube to test it. <laughs> do you know how to do it with the three legs? Because I've seen that yeah, as well. I think. You do it. I think what they do with this is, and I don't love, I mean. So when you guys tape like that, your tubes don't get boxy. Oh, they do, but. They do. I mean, not terrible, though. Our kids usually don't have a ton of secretions, though, as like with an RSV kid would. Um, but you can also do, like, your typical tape job, and then you can do your neo bars as well. It just supports it more that way. So you take well, then you can like sides, the then you can like on. pull it a little bit so it's not as like boggy because you can see where it like it's, sinks it in sinks, and it doesn't like it falls flat. Yeah, it's yeah. falling over. Yeah. Our pulmonologist at Children's, I remember him showing residents, you know, the cap tubes. He says, "How many cc's of air does it take for us to flow?" The so that's even another level, level of support there. Love that. Yeah. Okay, um, what's the three like lengths? We had to like, I had to like cut the strip and then go under the neo bar and then around it. So like it was like a pair of pants on the neo bar uh -huh. and a pair of pants on mm -hmm. the face. And then finally it quit mm -hmm. moving. But she was, she was like the cutest, chunkiest most full of secretion I've ever seen in my life. So. And then, yeah, if you do have to untape, you know, obviously just, just make, make sure, sure somebody, somebody is holding it and holding that baby. Now, when you the chart the, the vent placement of the tube and stuff like that, if you can't see it, do you have to take it down in every shift to see where you're at? Or it's just like, we don't. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it probably is just not worth the risk. Yeah. No. If it's anything, like the exterior part that is showing, you can, yeah. you can make a mark that there that way. way. Yeah, you can see what is exposed and yeah. make a mark there that yeah. way if that moves. Once in a while, you can open their mouth and kind of see where it's at underneath too and okay. kind of make a visual note of that. Okay, so, so if that's eight, this would be about nine. Yeah. Okay, so what I think they do with the three pants, if I don't like this, but... I think they just kind of, the three pants, the three, I think they put it as close as they can to the tube. They put one across the bridge of like the nose and the no, top of the, the lip. Chin. They put one, one the chin. underneath of it, under like under the chin here. And then I think they take the third one and the middle one and wrap it around the tube. Mm -hmm. And then the same thing on, on the, the other side, side yeah. as well. That but then sense. you um, can't really see anything. So you're really going to have to rely on the top of the, oh my gosh, I can't get it. 
Mm -hmm. That's all you would do. You wouldn't do another. You, you would, would do, do it on the other side, side as well. Both sides. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's pretty, pretty good. Right yeah. There. Just the one side. I've so. seen some people really like that one. Do you guys have uh, your tubes at a certain time? No. Our babies usually aren't in the intubated long enough to. And honestly, when we I reposition think that was the, one thing the that baby. Shayla was looking for because they do at Children's. Mm -hmm. And I was like. We're happy to no, keep it secure once. Be, like, I, I, I know. I I'm that. like, I don't know if we should be moving these upstairs. No. Because I feel like the likelihood like for that baby idea. becoming extubated each time you untape the tube, I don't know how many times that's happened to me with retaping a tube. No, they, they, they become do extubated. Yeah. I'm like, please don't. <laughs> and we don't have providers here 24 7 to 